before abortion was legal, many women died from self-induced abortions. Now, once again, hospital emergency rooms report treating women who resort to unsafe methods. Chris was a sociology major in her senior year at a state university when she discovered she was pregnant. Like many young women her age, she was not ready to have a child. She obtained an abortion at a clinic during a wave of protests. Please consider the life that you're carrying. You'll never forget this. This day will go down in the rest of your life. You'll never get over it. Chris became pregnant again after her birth control failed. She did not want to go back to a clinic because her first experience had been so disturbing. Chris had been studying natural medicine and decided to use herbs as an abortifacient. Soon afterwards, she began to cramp. When the cramping got really bad, she thought she was aborting and she didn't go to see anyone. And I got a call at four o'clock in the morning and she had gone into convulsions in the bathtub. She was taken to the hospital and she'd had cardiac arrest. Then they'd found out that she'd had an ectopic pregnancy and that cramping that she was feeling was that she'd been hemorrhaging and that's what killed her. She really wanted to go to somebody. She didn't want to be in charge and take all this responsibility. I think if there had been somebody for her to go to that she would still be alive. 